the um, permitting windows. Is that issue still out there? Yes. Is it it's still out there. They're doing analysis oh, yeah. as whether or not mm -hmm. site-specific studies will give <coughs> waivers, but there's been no resolution. There's been movement. People are trying to work movement. on this issue. They all understand the problem, um, but it's not resolved. Okay. And, and actually, that's the only that's the question that comes up for us in the DCP to make sure that when it goes to the commission, that there's some right. yeah. avenue of continuing to get permits for, right. I think, getting rid of the spoils and so forth right. uh, w without adding extra cost to the town to do it. So, but that's not a budget issue. No, and that's and that it was taken into consideration. You know, I was talking to Rich Delaney, who was instrumental in helping put that together, and. Uh, you know that's why they did the 15 foot from the from the shoreline out, so municipalities had control over those issues. Yeah, probably that. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm not even so, sure that this impacts no, most I don't think of it the does. trash projects. Um, probably it, some. The DCPC impacts when we mm. do entranceways to harvest. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pompanessen. Right. Sacramento. And those will all be. They're all permitted now. That was the conversation we were having, where they're in the process. All the har Falmouth harbors, we do entranceways, right. channel them. Some are not 1,500, some are, but they have. Um, but they're all being grandfathered in. They're all being. Yeah. That's, you just want to, they were either permitted, but you want to make sure that they're not impacted any further restrictions. Right. Right. Exactly. The, other, right. the other thing was whether or not we could uh, justify the cost of adding, you know, adding <coughs> another dredge to see, to see if that yeah. would be helpful. That would be a good thing if we could do that down the road. I mean, there's we, if there has to be a demonstrating need. Yeah. Right. And that, that was that. More importantly, you have to address the issue of <coughs> permit windows, otherwise, economically. Right, you can't justify it. Right, right. Right, well, don't forget how we got this dredge. We got a capital grant from the state. Right, right. Otherwise, so there may be. be able to make it's a million dollar capital grant. Right, exactly. Right. So right. we'll keep our eyes open. So I don't, I think there was, is we, is uh, Wayne coming in? No. no, he was packing up and getting ready to crack the field. Okay. So I'm, I'm, personally I'm good on this. Yes, yeah, me too. I am too. All right. Okay. I have no questions on the draft. All right, I do have one more. When will we know what projects are in the pipeline for next year? Uh, probably June. June? Yep. Like we've done in the past, Mark, if we don't have enough in the budget, he'll have to come in with a budget amendment once he's finalized the schedule. Either enough or too much. Too much. more of my concern. Not if enough isn't usually the issue. To date, we've never done too much. We've had to come back in for more once before, but <clears throat> it's pretty standard. So what right. do you want to get to now? Okay, black compact. Okay. Um, Let's see you, Maggie. Okay. okay. Um, it's a sidebar. Uh, <coughs> so, I, well, I, I gave you a call yesterday about uh, what was going on in Charlotte. Yep. Yeah. Um, questions yeah. on the goals? Otherwise, I'll move into your numbers. Uh, well, what, uh, as soon as you get the check, we're good. Off of the energy efficiency block grant, yes. Um, the wet work, you know, permits and some for this building, historical approval by the state has to be given before the funds are released. You could mention about the window project that we were talking about earlier. That's what Bill is easier. asking. Bill's yeah. asking about the energy efficiency conservation block grants. Okay. We were awarded a set or a seven hundred and thirty four six thousand seven hundred dollars grant from seven thirty six seven hundred from the federal government under the ARA funds. And they're holding all of the project funds because we were going to be spending work on our county building, Superior Courthouse, as well as several of the other towns that have had projects that we couldn't use energy efficiency ratepayer funds, but have our needed energy savings improvements. So we had a list of those that we're proposing. And any building that's over 50 years old, which on Cape Cod you are most of us, we have to do. Um, we have to have approval from the Mass Historic Commission before the federal government will release the funds. So, which I just found out last week. So, I have the forms, and I filled out the forms, and I'm sending them in. Just actually, just got the map, so they'll be in tomorrow, and I will dog the state until they give approval or not. If they, for some reason, if they don't approve a project, we'd have to find another project. In order to that that works because we have a list of them. Besides this building, what are other ones that we're talking about? Um, not saying because I have not informed all of them. Oh. <laughs> so it would be inappropriate for me to announce them without having spoken to the towns. 
Okay, uh, the, uh, is this the time uh, to, to, on the Cape and Vineyard Electric Co-op? I, I think I mentioned when we looked at, uh, at Mark's goals that one of my, you know, one of my responses was that, uh, I, that uh, I wanted to make sure they had enough time to support the, you know, the financial model and development of that because it, to me that's crucial to its success that we, mm -hmm. have, we have a solid financial model to go forward and you know, to make the co-op work. I think we've made, you know, we've made a promise, I think, or implied a promise to the towns that have signed up to be part of it that uh, we'd be able to go forward uh, on a risk-free basis in this part. This is the, see, so we have sort of a double membership, the Cape Light Compact and the Pony are both members, and I want to make sure that the Cape Light Compact you know, speaking as a board member that we're actually moving all of this forward and we make it happen. So that's, that to me, that's, that's a big thing. To me, this is, that, that has been a big thing for me to actually see this come to, you know, come to fruition. Aunt Maggie, can you talk a bit about the website, the redesign of the website? Sure, and this kind of dovetails with the conversations I've asked, the questions. Um, the Cape Light Complex, due to our own, you know, as we've discovered some of the challenges for our own internal infrastructure, one of the recommendations is to move the website out from being hosted here and contract them out, which is what something that the Cape Light Compact was had was going to do until we, we made a different decision. So now we're back to putting together an RFP, which had, you know will be an RFP including other departments, and that's for somebody to host on their server the website. We have our staff, whose internal staff will be redesigning it so and updating it so it's more customer friendly. And ultimately, the, the first phase in our three-year statewide plan on our energy efficiency are for consumers to be able to access what we have done from, through the Cape Lake Compact through their electric account numbers. So Pat Flynn could say, my number is ABCD, mm -hmm. FGHIJ, and you can pull up your account through our website portal, mm -hmm. and you'll say, oh, I did an insulation upgrade in 1997, and oh, I did this, and so, and then you can start to see and plan or any other additional measures that might want to be, you might want to undertake. So that's the second phase of the website. First phase, which will occur probably at the end of this, this fiscal year and into, is getting the website revised, redesigned, and updated, a new look. And then the second phase, which is tied to the statewide plan, will be customer access. Mm -hmm. uh it, let's say as a, as a customer of Cape Light Compact, and uh, I, I have in hand the, you know, the energy, the energy efficiency evaluations, and I, I look underneath you know, the, the, the call space. Um, in fact, I don't have a Facebook so I look underneath there and I say, okay, the insulation that's underneath there is getting very ratty. It's falling down, and, I, and to me, I should replace it. Uh, what will the Cape Light Compact will it help me borrow the money to do that, or will it, uh, will it grant me the money to do that? And that's a question that, you know, that I get asked from time to time. Of course, it, uh, I have a personal interest in that. Uh, and I've taken advantage of programs in the past. And well, all of the incentive good. levels, as you know, are on the website. Mm -hmm. So as a homeowner, um, you're eligible depending upon income eligibility. So there's an income test, because if you're a lower income or on a fixed income, which many of our retirees mm -hmm. are, you're eligible for richer incentives. Mm -hmm. Um, for thermal measures, which insulation is, you're eligible for up to $2,000 or $2,500 in insulation measures. So if you had to insulate your crawl space, the compact okay, would pay the cost that, of that up to two. No, those are, those are funded by all of the rate payers through the system benefit charges and other funding mechanisms. So if for the benefit of people watching, uh, if they wanted to go ahead with that, do they... They should call the Cape Light Compact's 800 number, right. or they should contact, uh, go through the website, because you can do either or, depending upon which technology medium you're more comfortable with. Are there a list of, uh, let's see, approved contractors to do this work? Um, there are both. You start with our, and you always start with an energy audit through the Cape Light Compact. Mm -hmm. You then have a choice of using the Compact's contractor, which we have procured competitively, or your own. And we do have maintain, the state also maintains a list of Okay. Uh, how how old or how new does the uh, evalu does the evaluation have to be? Uh, uh, and is there any time limit? On you can have an evaluation. I mean, every you know, there's no you can't have one more than one a year. Mm -hmm. But there should be one that's close to the time we have the work done. 
if it's more than a year old. Yes, I would recommend you should do it yeah. because yeah. conditions change. Right. right. So I because I think that this is an important contribution to the reduction of energy use, which is the only way that people can save money in their energy bill mm -hmm. on a permanent basis. Do you have to be a customer of the Cape Cod Compact? Uh, the general. energy efficiency program is for Open all yeah. customers, regardless of who you choose your competitive right. supplier from. Mm -hmm. Right. Separate from the Cape Cod Compact's power supply program. Right. And I believe that when we talk about how much money the county has saved the community, the bulk of it is in the reduction of the energy cost. And the evidence that we've actually reduced the amount of energy, electric energy is used in the Cape, is that we've, although we've seen an increase in dwelling unit occupants, we've seen a decrease in the overall energy use. Our energy use is below the state average. It's mm -hmm. been only increasing about 1% a year since we've been administering the program, the state average is about four. And our average prior to us was about three. Mm -hmm. So we, we have stabilized and we're not increasing, we have more customers using less energy. So mm -hmm. uh, re regardless of That's the rates that the Cape yeah. Light Compact charges, the fact that they have significantly contributed to the reduction of the overall energy use is perhaps the most important <coughs> contribution that we've made to the to meet the mission of promote and sustain proactive that enhances the quality of life. Yes, so. yes because it has, <clears throat> um, just like all those wind farms and uh, renewable energy sources we'll be using, uh, it has lowered the greenhouse gas. Yeah. Yep, which is ultimately not just the cost, right, but it has greenhouse gases for when you say our global, uh, emissions. It contributed to our global emissions. So. Um, speaking of the uh, where are we on the power booster stuff? Um, the, we are out with an RFQ for our in-house engineer. Once that engineer is brought on board, which the target date should be by the, uh, sign a contract by mid-February by the co cooperative, they will then immediately begin working on the RFP for the engineer procurement and construction contract. So and start the, which is the <coughs> permitting process, your procurement for your turbines, etc. So it's moving. And the amount and the money for the FTEs, uh, that, uh, some of that is supported by other than county funds, right? Actually, there are no staff funded by Barnesville County. If you look at Barnesville County's. Well, there's you. Um, I'm not my technically not a Cape Lake Compact employee. So I'm the county, assistant county administrator. So the Cape Lake Compact staff are not funded, uh, no longer funded by Barnesville County. The energy efficiency staff were never funded by them, but we did used to have a one and a quarter FTEs. They're now funded by the Cape Light Compact. But we do have some funds, small <laughs> budget. Um, another goose resign. So our, yes, our budget, if you would, you know, mm -hmm. the budget of the county for the for the Cape Light Compact is, a, I think, a little over a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Just quickly. Yeah, a little bit under that, probably more like that? 80. Um, it's all the, the line items on the line item page that begin with the double zero. Oh, and then okay. it includes so it's really everything above that line, those lines. What, no, include includes the municipal the, energy sorry, efficiency Yeah, it includes the 15,000, you're right. So you're, you're so right about 95,000, yeah. Oh, okay, everything, all the double zeros are counting. Yep. And yeah, everything below zero. that. Our energy, yes. will you see right here, oh, yeah. Pat, energy mm -hmm. fund salaries? Yeah. Those are all the compact, right? Funded from yeah. ratepayer funds. See, so that's the energy efficiency so, program. So it's just showing your budget there, but it's right. not uh, reflecting what that's our capital input is. Okay. 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 Good job. Good job. So I just probably want to make a note, but the you know the fifteen thousand that's there, that will be in for next year. That significantly helped Pat your town, the town of Falmouth, with some of its energy efficiency. Um, work that it had done was funded oh, by yeah. the county. Oh, good to know. Um, and how many towns do we have signed up now for the Cape cool. Vineyard? For the co-op, it's... We have 13 total 14. members, 14 total members. Oh, I can oh, list them easier. Well, that's not, the, that's, but that includes Cape and Vineyard plus the two counties, so... Right. Yeah, Bourne, Mashpee, Sandwich, Barnstable, Dennis, <coughs> Harwich, <coughs> Brewster, <coughs> Orleans, East Ham, Provincetown. Excellent. Okay, so Wellfleet is in Truro. Wellfleet in Truro, uh, Chatham, 
and Falmouth voted but never has not done anything. Oh. So Falmouth has taken no action. Maybe the new And who am I missing? Mashby. Yarmouth has no, submitted Mashby their application. Oh, Mashby. So it's, it's Mashby has their application and so they'll be a member this month. And so, so and so we'll, and I mean, excuse me, Mashby's already a member. Yarmouth. Yarmouth, 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 Yarmouth will be in. So the only towns that have not done, will not have taken any action will be Falmouth. Oh, there you go. Well, we have work to do. And they're here. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> only, only one commissioner in town is, is, in, is a member of the co-op. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Not good. Well, we've been a member for a long time. But Falmouth has approved everything. You just haven't taken Take action on it. Right. Yeah. And, but Truro, yeah, town meeting voted it. Town meeting voted it. Your board voted it, right. Pat. You just didn't send in the application. <laughs> we did a lot of work with Wellfleet. We, we spent a lot of time we with them. a lot of time with decided Wellfleet. Decided to... And I wouldn't, I wouldn't thing. cut them out totally yet. No. I think they have their uh, their work ahead of them, and they may uh, see the, uh, like the practicality right. of, uh, of coming back to their. To their and and even if space. they even if they don't, we were discussing. You know, if they have some space, they want to lease to the co-op. We'd be happy to talk to them about that too. Well, I think what they found is that there's uh, there was a silent opposition. <laughs> to uh, it being cited in the National Seashore, so it's probably just as well that that battle is taking place. Um, have a website built out that opposition. On the yes, I know I heard all about it. So, um, uh, so you know. Let's we'll hope that they all feel the problem. Mm. <coughs> Any other questions on the paper contract budget? Okay, let's move on to shared cost and debt service. <clears throat> on the, um, I have a question on, uh, on the uh, administering and monitoring the county's legal expenses. And uh, I saw that they, that they did, the Cape Cod Commission has increased its cost. This is part of the monitoring of these legal expenses was the litigation committee. And that's still active, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anytime we need to convene it, we convene it. Um, the good news is we have the only pending action I believe out there is the whole is the Cape Cod uh, uh, Cape Wind issue that's been. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully uh, that'll get resolved in the uh, next month. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, where does unemployment fit in on this? Um, I, I, it, it, it certainly is in this budget. It is it's on. In this is um, the support across county functions. Unemployment. Um, Insurance, miscellaneous. Oh, it continues okay. on page two, about a third of the way down, 20,000. Page two? Yeah, I noticed the Cape Cod Commission had a separate line. I'm sorry, I'm just, just looking at the line. Oh, you're at your line. I was line looking items. at this I'm sorry, page yeah, no, on the, on the numbers page. On oh, the on second, the numbers page. Numbers page, about a third of the way down. On okay. The and of course, we are self-funded for unemployment. Un 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 you right. say, you know, if someone gets laid off, they can go and collect, and mm -hmm. whenever they get paid, they we get billed, basically. So, but, uh, I noticed that the uh, Cape Cod Commission had a separate line item for, uh, yeah. so it's not for all of the departments. This is for all of the departments. Don't forget, the Cape Cod Commission has an own funding right. source. Okay, so that's why, that, why they're listing their funds. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, Thank that's you. right. Okay, there is one other question in here on the public officials' insurance. What does that cover? It covers your actions as commissioners, our actions as administrators. When you make a mistake. Yeah, if, mm -hmm. if you do something wrong, as long as it's not intentional. Like if you don't no pass your ethics by. exam. <laughs> I've already passed it. Uh, the, no, what, what, the, the concern that I have is that there's always been an exclusion for civil rights violation, right? That's not covered by any insurance. Well, that's, uh, you're asking two different questions. What um, is the, what, okay, the what, action what, that you may take that may open you to such a claim may be defensible under the public officials policy however if it's a civil rights action you may face individual penalties um, that may or may not be indemnified by the county and that's the question and, and so we have a process here where if such claims arise that there's an indemnification process now, is there anything in the statutes or in the charter that um, indemnifies the county officials, like 
the assembly elected officials and, and the commissioners? No, we have a, I, I have to go back, I have to be honest, it's been a while since yeah, we've exercised it. Was it. Was it was actually, it was yeah, Rob was yeah, the last one. We had to go first. But we have a, there's nothing in the charter. No. Yeah. Yeah. There's a process, though, where the commissioners can vote to indemnify. Yes. Yeah. And then the assembly, the assembly has to, has to, uh, they have to ratify, ratify it. Yeah. It, it yeah. Once you do it, though, it's done. It's, it's done. done. You right. don't have to. For that particular, that particular that No, it's for a particular Oh, act. for a particular. Oh, for so it hand. isn't so just you, a blanket indemnification. No, what would you want? You wouldn't want to do a blanket indemnification <laughs> because, uh, say, uh, I got mad at Bill and punched him. You're not going to indemnify me for that. You, you may appreciate it. Any charges <laughs> filed against you. But if it, but the county, you have to talk to Bob Trump. Oh, this is what he's going to tell you. He's going to say, <laughs> if it's an intentional act on my part or something oh, yeah. that's egregious, you're not going to indemnify me for that. You're indemnifying no, me for things I do in an official capacity right. in good faith, mm -hmm. but that I get sued for. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, so it's just invoked at the time of an event. It, it's invoked at the time of an event. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Some places do have blanket. Right. I found with might. I don't know. Yeah, we. Yeah, they, yeah. They, but some, but, some but it's don't. but it's it it adopts the uh, the, sta the state statute on it. The tort liability. Mm -hmm. Well, that's in place anyway, so right. it wouldn't matter whether you're identified but or not. But there's uh, well, maybe it's a different, or maybe it's a. Um, Maybe it's in the I, I can't remember. Yeah, now, but we don't I have remember. anything in the okay. I've worried more about that in the housing authority than anything else. Hmm? I've worried more about that in the housing authority than anything else because we have people coming in. Yeah, can I ask yes. you? Yes. All right. Um, uh, on the uh, second page, uh, it has like salary reserve, the reserve fund stabilization for, you know, capital reserve, capital expenditures. Mm -hmm. so the last, you mean. Oh, the last thing. Thing. So that's, that's just in a reserve in case we see that there's, you know, there's need for another person or if there's uh, no, capital no. expenditures. No, that's going to cover the, the COLA. The COLA. The salary reserve is going to cover the COLA. Yeah. Okay, that's going to take the COLA. Let me just go down there. So unpaid bills is pretty self-explanatory at the end of the year after the close of the books. You'll get bail bills that pop up that people right. have forgotten to put an encumbrance for. That covers that. The debt payment principal and the interest, as I said, this year, this current fiscal year, you're going to have to issue bonds, which we will have debt service payments on next fiscal year. And those, the 50000 is the principal payment on those. That should be more than enough. And the 175000 the interest payment on those, that will be more than enough. So part of that 175000 is the placeholder that I talked about earlier. So that now that we're getting back into the habit of issuing bonds for our capital projects, we'll need that money to pay those, right. those, those the principal on those. Mm -hmm. The salary reserve is going to cover the COLA piece. And then when times were good, we have two reserve funds that are built into the, to the budget by the charter. The first one, which is called that reserve fund, is a fund that we can tap for unforeseen circumstances. Okay. You have to, there's a process to do it. You have to go back to the assembly through a mm -hmm. charter and you reallocate basically that 50,000 to whatever department had the unforeseen circumstances mm -hmm. paper. And then the second one is a capital reserve item. It's a similar type of item. You can, it's, it's, a, it's just as fungible, right. although we really use it more for a capital needs <clears> purpose. <throat> In the past, as you see on the, the, the column um, second from the right, we didn't fund anything last year. Typically, we have at least some money in those two reserve funds. Usually, it's 50000 Now, the times have been tough. It's been less. And this fiscal year, it, it's zero. So. Oh, so there's no balance, so to speak. There's no balance, no. No, it's, re it's replenished every year. It's like an appropriated reserve. Amount. But if it were not spent for some reason, then it would just roll, roll to the bottom line, line in the general fund. Oh, it rolls like to the bottom line, line as yeah. opposed to staying in like in a stabilization right. fund right. that continues to grow. Yeah, because this is an appropriated reserve. So every year it's um. appropriated, it's there. You have to do go through the process with the assembly. But then at the end of the year, if you don't spend it, it just flows exactly. back into your free cash, basically, into your But you could general. then reappropriate it. You could, yeah, and, you could reappropriate it. And then put it back where it was. Yeah, you sure could, yeah. But we, so we don't have that so-called rainy day fund. 
Well, ours is a little bit different. Right. We have a reserve funds, but they're not appropriated. So okay. on your balance, oh, okay. on your on the general fund balance, mm -hmm. we have all those reserve funds that are we basically have cash sitting in an account mm -hmm. somewhere, but we just don't have any authority to spend, to spend it. it. So if we want to spend it, you have to go you back to the, the whole process. Yeah, you have to yeah. go through the appropriation. Okay. What what constitutes? Um, is there some expenditures that you don't have to go? What 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 types of events, issues, spending? Would we not have to go to the? Assembly? Well, when you get a grant, we have a blanket uh, authority from the assembly going back to what ninety seven, yeah, ninety five, ninety four, something like no, that. Higher than five, yeah. um, so that so that every time we get a grant, we don't have to run to the assembly to get a new appropriation. Right. So we have a, what I there's a process. I have to notify them when we get the grant, and I send them a, I basically send them an email notification. And actually, we ran into a problem with, with uh, some of that notification because we got the grant that we didn't expect, and then we had to go over there to get some money transferred. Remember that? There was some whole row about that. Mm, not a grant. No, no, we did something different. But and we, then, let me just finish. And that's on, on special revenue uh, accounts, for example, on like the. Uh, I, I always point to one that's kind of easy: the statue fund. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we yeah. approved setting up the statue fund. Lou Cataldo would go out, solicit donations. They would come to us. We would put them in this right. account, so and then we would pay the bills. Account, right. So those kind of special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't mean to downplay it. It's actually a very. If you look through the uh, table of accounts in the in the treasurer's report, it's actually a very significant. Right. Yeah, if we do those uh, types of services. We try. We, yeah. We. It's, those are mostly pass throughs or some and, other purpose. And uh, I mean, it's such as like the regional network. Uh, to end homelessness. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's well, that's a, a grant, but yeah. That's a grant, yeah. and yet we're managing that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, the Energy Efficiency Fund is a special revenue. And the Energy Efficiency Fund is a special revenue. Right. We have quite a few, quite a few of them. It's very successful. What did you have with the Compassion Fund? Yeah, the Compassion yeah, Fund, remember, they were going to come before you yeah. to yeah. disband it. Yeah. Okay. They did just. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can have it, but you can't spend it. We got two donations. We gave one, and somebody else gave one. I understand. I mean, yeah. Saying. Okay, so, um, so so that right. takes Let's care see. of the shared costs. And and you think I mean that's that's enough in there for all the things that um, you foresee, and you feel comfortable with all those numbers. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think the only one that may I'm just looking for it's uh, the um, where is. Um, Workers' compensation. Oh, that's uh, no. It's up on the first page. On the, it's first, on the page, first page, right at the top of the page. Um, Fifty-five thousand. You know, right now we're self-insured for workers' comp, and um, now that the sh sheriff has left, um, the sheriff oh, had yeah. some issues with you know workers' comp claims, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. the nature of the business. Ours are certainly much less, and I began. Um, late last calendar you're kind of investigating how much it would cost us to move into the Maya okay. fully insured program mm -hmm. and um, I still uh, based on the fact that for this fiscal year we had to pay for our uh, excess insurance policy you know it's kind of a catastrophic insurance on workers comp that will Cover any claims over a certain dollar amount, fairly high dollar amount. But no we matter. had to pay that directly. We had to pay that already. The sheriff <laughs> did pay half of it, but I can't. Even though he's gone now, if I had gone to a fully insured policy on January first, I couldn't get any of that premium back. It was gone. It, um. They couldn't. They couldn't prorate it. So, so we decided to just stay where we were because it's not costing me anything more for the rest of this fiscal year to stay self-insured. Um, I will again as the as we get closer to the end of this fiscal year seek a quote um, from Maya and make a determination and bring back a recommendation to you as to whether we should stay self-insured or move to a fully insured okay. program. Well yeah now don't you have a program of um, um, uh, <coughs> where you can contact a service EAP? No, not EAP. Um, it's a um, case management for your workers' comp. That's part of it. Like that's, cooking oh, company. that's yeah, cooking company. We have a T, a T 
TPA, third party, third party administrator, administrator. Cooking company does. And that. and so you contract separately with them. We contract it? separately. With them. So if you add up all those costs together. That's exactly the question. Is yes, is what the cooking the company like? plus the access policy mm -hmm. versus paying Maya one sum to do everything. Mm -hmm. That's and by rolling in the public uh, public liability or professional liability, and well, they already cover us for that. No, so. but I'm saying if you do more than one, then when you <coughs> then when you're eligible for the Meyer rewards, you get it back on everything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That, that certainly is part of the analysis. Yeah. One of the other downsides is is um, we have outstanding claims that are out there right now. We don't have a lot, but we have a few. Um, Maya can't handle the claim right. going on now. Right. So I would still have to have cooking Separate company location. around for at least some portion of oh, month. Well, until the claims are gone, basically. And you, you could figure 99.99% of them will be gone in three years. Okay. Oh, you know, they kind of disappear and disappear. Yeah. We have one that may never go away. Interesting. Yeah. No. But it, <laughs> no, it was the one that where he was involved in the what accident. About, um, the Comcast truck. Oh yeah. But you know, you even though it was Comcast's fault under Mass Law, the, the primary employee owns a piece of the liability, no matter what. Even if we weren't at fault. But you can, and you can't do a disability retirement. He no, he's eligible. not eligible. He wasn't eligible he was for retirement. Yeah, but part-time employee never eligible eligible for retirement. Never worked over 25 hours. Right. You could theoretically yeah, so do a lump sum settlement, yeah. but given the circumstances, it wasn't it Feasible wasn't worthwhile. It's, you know, it's not worthwhile. That's why when you talk to Maya, that there's, there's an interesting piece to that lump sum settlement too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's what happens to a lot of uh, selectmen in towns that. Uh, uh, come to the end and they're looking for an extension of benefits and a retirement plan because they didn't it was a, they weren't eligible based upon the amount of contribution that they made. That's right. Yeah. They made less than two thousand uh, less than five hundred dollars. They right. said they weren't eligible. Yeah. And uh, the insurance the health the continuation of insurance as, as a, for health care uh, is also based upon what that department decides. What that is for? What what the town decides is yeah. up to them. It's up to their individual choice. So that's the that, that that's the workers' comp for me out there is the question. I believe the fifty five will cover no matter what we do, which way we go. I remember in for the, the public liability and the workers' comp for both the town and the school, and that was about say sixteen hundred employees. It's about Oh yeah, it can be a lot. But that covered everything. I mean, that covered the case management. Well, the I can tell you the the excess policy alone, which has an attachment point of 550, which basically means you're never going to you're never going to draw down a dime of that policy, was about forty five thousand dollars, which the sheriff paid about. But remember. So, that with towns you have police and fire, right? That's and right. DPW, That's exactly. And those costs those are, are right. almost yeah. tripled yeah. when right. right. it comes to workers' yeah. So if you took all that out, well, that was then it could bring. Uh, it could well, bring that was, that's similar to the sheriff. Yeah. The sheriff. That's uh, right. Very high exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, very small. If you're paying six dollars for an employee, you're like paying fifteen dollars. Yeah. An employee yeah. for with police yeah. and fire. Okay. Any other questions on? Sh or no? Test. Legal's been the same. I know Bill was mentioning legal. That's fifty thousand. It's been the same for mm -hmm. us. And even though Bob has, you know, his rate has gone up a little bit. I believe it's about one hundred and eighty an hour now. Um, this is a municipal rate, mm -hmm. but we've left it there. It's been that's been a decent number. Actually, I don't. I'm not sure we spent that through the years. Close to it, but not quite that. The audit service did go up. Um, um, we oh, yeah, have a question on that. Yeah, where's that's that? It, that's the audit that the uh, oh, there we pay for in the assembly at the assembly's direction. It's the audit. That yeah, the, that's the, my the note here does. too. Yeah. yeah. The the assembly votes. The, the assembly it's under the charter, the audit yeah. function because yeah. of the separation of powers right. is, is technically the, the assembly's 
But why the county pays for it. Okay, but why is well, it under their budget? The county is. But it's under the shared cost right. for the audit. Yeah. It's for okay, all, right. you know, for all county departments. So, but, you know, um, the, uh, Chris Rogers from Sullivan and Rogers and I had a long conversation because I made the contention that, wait a minute, you were losing half of the county, basically, in terms of your audit function. You should lower our costs. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he is indicated that there are two things. Um, there are the standards that are required by the uh, both Government Accounting Standards Board and the, there's another SAS, Standards Accounting Service, I think it is, have really increased the costs of doing the audit function. And the other big one, he said he's spending a lot of hours because we have a lot more federal grant money out there. So he says, you know, in their original budget for the county, he had budgeted one federal grant review. The last time he had to do it was, he had to do three. And he's anticipating we're going to do at least three for every subsequent year of federal audits. He thinks those are very Can intense. we get to a not to exceed them? So it's basically where he's on. He's on a not to exceed. And he did actually give me a quote for doing the um, uh, uh, cooperative uh, 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 budget audit because as we go forward with uh, applying for some of these grant and uh, for some of the RUS funding and the cooperative we're going to need an audit for that and he put, put us on basically a not to exceed amount. So mm -hmm. that, that's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. Just back to the work that's come for a minute. I mean, this year, on the teacher end, the highest uh, number of incidents for workers' comp cases for teachers were bites. As a matter of fact, bites. Two, uh, just before Christmas, the, uh, the woman that was the, uh, the teacher's assistant in the uh, special ed department of the media, mm -hmm. uh, we got a call at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 So that's a lot of that. Yep. Okay. Are we? We've gone through this. Yep. Okay. Then we will move on to the final one, which is the finance department. Okay, uh, what about kind of commission? Oh, we can more. do finance. Oh, we have, we have to come back to the commission. Yeah. Yeah. We have to do your own goals, so that will be the way to end it. It's okay. more we're to do that. if you have to develop okay. goals. Yeah, and we do, and we're going to be able to do that within a short period of time. I'm wondering, if, can we move that to um, to next week? Is it possible? Right, let's try. See where we the are. County okay. commissioners. It's, it's a, a well, shorter week next week. Actually, I had finance posted. I don't know how. I don't know That's why Karen is on now. And I had finance actually because I took finance out and pushed it over to next week and put the Cape Cod Commission in. But somehow oh. it still ended up on this well, week's why, thing. Why so we, we have some room we, to we do could, either one. We could get done now because don't we have to go over the assembly. And three. Three. Yeah, you do. You have to be over the assembly. Mm -hmm. so and you're you going to your interview. Yeah. So why don't you? You're doing an interview, right? Yeah. At three. So let's keep going. So you want to do the finance and, finance, finance, and, uh, yeah. and yeah. put us on for next week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, I think we have time. Okay. If we don't, then we'll have to just, because um, Mark has to get over there as well. That's, no, that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 your one? I, no, that's yours. Yeah. Okay. I did. I passed it down. Um, Phil has one. That's yours. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Septic betterment loan information. Wow, when he said, what was it, four million? Four, it's more than four million. Four point three million. Yeah, yeah. four point three million yeah. In, yeah. in loans. Yeah, we're doing a bond issue every two years right now. Is the way it's working. So, yeah. so, so what are you saying? Your goal is to have more timely and accurate accounting of the loan information. Now, is that something that George does, or you do, or the finance? George processes, uh, Kendall processes the loans, mm -hmm. Joanne tracks all of the accounting information, she keeps track of all of the, she's the one who prepares the sign-offs that actually you're going to do now mm -hmm. for the, uh, the, the betterment dissolutions, those are the prepayment ones, mm -hmm. and she pays down all of the uh, debt search payments that have to be done, so Joanne is doing all that. And, and she works obviously with Kendall and with uh, Angela. And then the, um, and the, the finance Division department department also handles the finances for the compact or for yes. the payment for, yep. for the co-op for the, yes, for the they, co they process all the invoices 
for the Cape Lake Compact, yeah. which are significant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a separate checking account. We have a separate, because it's a completely separate entity. Right. So. Um, is, is this the time to talk about, uh, uh, let's see, you, you're listed here as Director of Finance and Treasury. Will we see you again in another, you know, in, yeah. in, in another area? Yeah, a, a few years back, at the behest of the assembly, they put half of my budget, half of my salary budget in finance and half in the county commissioner's office. Mm -hmm. And that's how we've been doing it. Okay. But your great your great determination is for your total salary. Yes. Okay. So, but the amount instead of one hundred three thousand is like fifty. Half of it's here and half of it's in the county. You're not an MP eight eight mark right now. You should change that. What is it? Contract. Contract. Just CT or whatever. Mm hmm NA What's it called? NA contract. NA contract. That that grade step doesn't apply. Right. Okay. But the amount is still the same. Yeah, it's by contract. Yeah, but it's still like, that's the equivalent as far as the amount. I, I <coughs> couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, Mr. Bernard, you have any Should, I could, maybe I should mention at this time, um, and I don't think I did when we talked about the salary stuff, retirement, I built in 10% mm -hmm. because we do not yet have the actual numbers from retirement. This is big based on because of the share transfer. They have not calculated those, those numbers yet. We will get assessed separately the sheriff's piece of that as the legislation calls for, and we will be able to use a piece of the um, former maintenance of effort funds to pay down that particular amount. What so. did you account for insurance costs, health insurance? And I used 10% uh, right now for health insurance costs. Pat just indicated to me earlier today that she thought Bob was going to use 8% of written hour. We have our He's meeting. Chair he should probably go. No, we have our meeting. I was meeting going to week. say, your rating meeting will next week. be coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And there may be also. Um, uh, the opportunity where the uh, the health group might be a lot of might, to use a might premium use some of the, well not so much a no. premium no. holiday just a but money from their from their trust or the, just whatever a, they uh, have a, a to subsidy. lower that's how yeah. you get from ten to eight is that they would money. contribute the money into okay. the pool okay. so okay. that the towns wouldn't have to pay as much so there may be some further reductions in the yeah. health insurance our fund is above the band the right the right trust the fund balance is corridor. Still, it, it, we have a vote that it has to be within a certain band right because I know there wasn't any contribution last year correct so year. Uh, all right so we'll find yeah. right now it's at ten percent so there may be some opportunity did we get a did we forgive them Two, two. Well, for years they had there was a premium high. Right. Yeah, they have there every December. It's been a while. That it's been a while. It's been two years. I was going to say this fiscal year they no. didn't do anything. Right. They didn't even take anything out of the reserve account. Right. Last year I think they took some money out of the reserve to account reduce to reduce rates. That's right. rate That's subsidy. This year. So it's been at least two years since there's been a premium. I don't see holiday. a premium holiday in our future. I think the, policy wise, um, kind of got the, away from that. I, I think the yeah. Maya Health Trust only went up one percent. No, that well, I don't want to say that. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. And I, I heard on the radio that nationwide health care expenditures had gone up 4.4 percent mm -hmm. last year. So, yeah, but I think that's, that's more because there's so many people unemployed that yeah. don't have health insurance. They, they did say that's more a reflection of the economy yeah. than the actual cost of health care. You have here a line that says. Um, Professional and technical no, that's not the one software, hardware, maintenance. Yeah, that's for the Munis system. Oh, for the Munis system. That's for the Munis system. Now, what version of Munis do we have? Do you know? Uh, no, Five, maybe? It's not the most recent Seven one. Seven or eight, I think, is the most recent Yeah, one. we don't have the most recent one. We kind of avoided that. It's still a supported version, so they're doing the updates and the upgrades on that, but we don't have the most advanced. Version. Aren't they moving out? Mm -hmm. A sort of um, uh, municipal finance now, Munis. I well, thought um, now they're they're owned by Tyler, Tyler Technologies. Oh, that's right, they are, aren't they? I'm not sure they're yeah. moving out no, of municipal finance. I know they're, they're expanding 
more farther afield, and because they actually were one of the bidders on the retirement, retirement right. um, software piece. Uh, yeah. So I knew Munis somehow changed the corporate. Yeah, the Tyler. Uh, Tyler and Tyler so it went to Tyler. I don't see any. There's a pretty straight Are there any oh, other um, uh, entities within the county that that uses Munis uh, that you have? I mean, it's just us that, that it's part of your your old. Yeah, well, my, well, system. everybody uses mm -hmm. Munis in the sense that in in all of these budgeting pages, these account codes that you see here are all Munis all accounts. Munis. Okay, so they're all so that's the general universal. That's financial the universal software. coding. Yeah. And all departments have access to Munis for purchase orders. You do your POs through Munis. Yeah. All the all, all, all the purchasing. Tracking budgets through Munis. Yeah. And do all towns use Munis? Or? Uh, not no, all, but a big chunk a large of large number of towns. Yeah. Yeah. We looked at, Munis has some other functions, has some billing, municipal billing and collection mm -hmm. functions. We looked at that for the health lab. It didn't really work. And we looked at it for the septic betterment loan program. It didn't really work. It didn't, it didn't fit. It's a, it's really a municipal tax collection yeah, right. piece, and it didn't really work for what we were trying to do. So right. we might look at the it, for the septic betterment program again. It has a little bit better fit, but for what they were doing now, it just didn't didn't make sense. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Thanks for your service. Thank you. So we have our schedule for next week. Okay. And I have the packages for next week. And we're going to we move the, our commissioner's office to yeah, next let's, week. Let's move that. But they, maybe we should talk about it a little bit, um, just as far as uh, yeah. so that we can think about our goals and have everything. Maybe we should, you know, have that written and ready to go, so that we are. You know, we can then talk about what we see each in the future, and then. Mm -hmm. Talk about it now? No, but you know, I mean, I, well, I'm talking. Oh, you mean I guess I'm, talk, I'm having a discussion as I'm, as I'm discussing. You're having your own discussion. I'm having yourself yes, in my <laughs> mind, as I usually do. <laughs> so I'm like a legend in my own mind. Um, um, yeah, it, it maybe when uh, this week we should really think about these this, yeah. and and come back with things written, and then we can, you know, see what's similar, what's different, right. you know, ideas, and then come up with a final product. Uh, I think that's a good idea, so, and, and it occurs to me that we might not be able to come up with what tasks would be involved, but I think we all could come up with a list of the, you know, okay. goals, yes. and then we could sort of negotiate what the task would be, because I have a suspicion that there'd be an overlap mm -hmm. among the goals, and then one of the things I'd like to see us do really is to, you know, is to, is to take responsibility for doing the, uh, you know, let's say, pursuing it. And, and actually working on a particular thing and, and then coming back and saying, this is how much progress we've made or not. You know? right. I, I think there's going to be some things that we're going to have to go out there and take charge of uh, ourselves, you know. And That's my point. Right, and let's yeah. let's list those, and, and how, so how are we going to do those? Yeah, and, and, and the other the other part, you know, part of that is that what do we need from each other in order to reinforce what you're trying to do? So right. Because a lot of things, perhaps we can do by ourselves, but... but it comes that time. That's a wastewater. I might suggest yeah. that you may need one of us to come. You know, let's say come and support a particular view at a particular time, right. so that we're you know we're all moving this agenda forward. So, Absolutely. You know. All right. So next week, we're scheduled to begin at ten thirty. Now, if we're going to add the commissioner's office, it can we start at nine? At uh, I mean ten or nine thirty. Yes, I'm sorry, nine thirty. I would start your meeting at nine. You can do all your. We don't have assembly next week. No. No. So let's start at nine. Well, we're starting at ten thirty. At the way we're scheduled, but we right. have to can add. We push it up. Or maybe we should do our stuff at like maybe that's nine. That's, or, that's what I'm saying. Or, yeah. Start nine or nine thirty. That way you can do all your stuff, and then you'll have. I think. And then we can go right into the people you already have scheduled. Yeah. Okay, so we're we'll screwing the them up. But we do have county, you, you have county charter next week. Yes, at uh, four o'clock. County commissioners and, and business. Okay, so you want to do that at nine? Yeah, let's start that at nine. <coughs> well, what time does the charter committee meet next week? Four o'clock. So next week? Do you want me to post the county commissioner's yeah. budget review at 9.30? 
Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we'll yeah. start at nine. Yeah, I appreciate that because mm -hmm. I think there's a major uh, uh, meeting. There's a package for this. Starting at nine. Oh, okay. Eight okay. o'clock. So uh, usually nice. I can get through the first Thank part you. of that. And just, you know, and I guarantee I'll be here by nine thirty. Okay. Oh, more than likely to be here by nine. Oh, okay. So we can do the business at nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Because that's just if there's anything we need to action, I could pass that Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I'd be able to make it by nine. And I'll have lunch menu, and we'll have lunch brought in so that you don't. It's tight we again. do go to three. Right. No, we actually have a, well, we have a board we meeting uh, next uh, Cape, Cape Lake Compact board meeting. So you have to be out of here. Yeah. What time? That's, that's, when, was, well, that's time? when I have to vote, although I'm not nominated yeah. for anything this year. Well, which time is it? Two. two oh, we should, if we're starting at nine, we should hopefully be done. What's the, What's the schedule? schedule? But you're out of this room. Oh, we, have have the here. Oh, we have to be out of here at one time. Yeah. If, there's, uh, if there's last minute if business, we can go over to our... We well, we have now. RDO and we have human services and then RDO at the end. Yeah, so that will be. You want but me to see if I can move RDO until the 20th? Well, m maybe is it going to take? I don't think it'll take. No, we've been out already. Yeah. 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 And if we have to move, we can go over to the yeah. other chamber because it's only it's not like it's an entourage coming in at that. And I would say starting at human services, just meet in your your other office. Yeah. We could do that. And then um, and just do have the lunch in, and then we don't yeah, have the gym and the lunch break. <laughs> that <laughs> makes it hard yes, for scary. We'll help you carry. Uh, but you don't, we'll you don't miss you, much. Yeah. Um, you don't miss much. No, he'll, he'll, no he, yeah, he won't miss anything. But we, we might miss. move it along faster and get human services in earlier than that. No, because I think people might be coming. You've given them a oh, time. Okay. Right, exactly. So they're going to come at that time. All right. right. That's true. They may, they may not. She may, she may have, have, she may have, have a meeting have right up to the right at our advisory on. committee yeah. members with her or not. So right. that's the question. That's why you don't want to screw up the, what's already So if you're going to change your time, yeah, I can go ask we'll her. Just, we'll yeah. change the venue. We'll, we'll move together. Let's stay, stay, with her, stay where it is. As they said, we'll help Steve carry his bags. Okay, but the next question is, why don't we just meet in the other room anyway? You know, just start off that way. Well, I mean, I haven't seen a cast of thousands We should paint it over the weekend. <laughs> Don't we all come in with the paper? You know, I was looking at the, uh, yeah, I was looking at the, uh, uh, was it the, the program that we did over at the uh, commissioner's office, the commission's office? Yeah. You know, the lighting was a hell of a lot better there. The, you know, Do the, we look better? You look wonderful. <laughs> oh, well, then I think oh, that's where we should have it from now where? on. Where? The, oh, when we went the Cape Cod Commission. Commission. Because they had all these all these training aids over there, you know, the whiteboard and the... Yeah, uh, oh, yeah it's very Oh, and the Cape Cod Commission yeah. office. Yeah, oh. in the conference room. I mean, that's, that's, oh. that's world class. I think that, uh, you know... We ought to, you know, we ought to think about that because the lighting was great and you look wonderful. Really? Yeah. Oh. It was really great. <laughs> I think he was he looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. We're done, yeah. right? Motion to make adjourn. Uh, Oh, oh no, we're not adjourning. We're going to assembly. Yes, it's a So we're in recess. Okay. Until the assembly. See you next time.